Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some Trady McTrade in Europa Universalis 4. Lucky Nations, uh, we'll turn that off because that's stupid. Um, we don't like Lucky Nations. Although there is a cool mod that I might try out soon that has, uh, has Lucky Nations that are like truly random. It will do dynamic province names, yes, yes, everything's good there. And uh, we've, we've created Trady McTrade, although... Uh, is it Trade McTrade? It's Trade McTrade. Oh, it's a good thing I caught that. It's supposed to be Trady McTrade. Thank you very much. Trady McTrade. Done. So, yeah, we've created it, but one day after the release of Eldorado, they've already patched it and made it so that you can't make nearly as over overpowered of a country as we could have before. So perhaps I made a mistake in not doing it right away. However, they also fixed some of the other stuff, like attrition for enemies is actually working properly. The AI is not cheating like a bastard anymore. And, uh... We're going to select Trading McTrade, we're going to play them, and uh, we're going to see how we do. It's it's only three provinces now, so it's going to be a little bit less strong. But um, the other rule that I've kind of imposed on this campaign is that uh, we're going to play a reverse Switzer Lake. No inland provinces allowed, only coastal land. We're just going to try to conquer the coast. So we ended up with seven heavies and only ten light ships. Well, we're not very strong, so I'm thinking we're probably going to need to actually protect trade. We did get two of these important centers of trade, so that is still pretty good. The Ryan Estuary, the important center of trade, the important center of trade. Like, we're, we're doing okay. Um, let's just take the whole fleet. Uh, we'll take the just the lights, actually. Protect trade in the English Channel. Uh, and again, you may notice I'm actually using a different... Um, I've got different graphics now. We're going to mothball the whole thing. I think I might try to sell that to somebody else. So we have the Profitable Idea Group. If you want to see how this uh, whole process was put together... Go check out episode 0, that's where we did all that stuff. But we ended up with just 5% trade efficiency and one bonus merchant to start with. We have early on 50% hostile core creation on us to try to prevent the AI from trying to annihilate us. We took Scorched Earth policy because I value this tremendously. Even though it didn't work well in the Uber Russia kind of pre-campaign, um, it's still really, really good. Like, the amount of extra manpower that you kill is nuts. And I think it's going to be pretty important. Our only available missions right now... I should probably finish going over the ideas, shouldn't I? <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, infantry combat ability plus 10. Veteran sergeants, because we're awesome. Because infantry is like... They do the most damage out of any unit in the game. Naval force limit modifier plus 15. So we can kind of take off mid-game. Inflation reduction, because we'll have tons of money. We'll have probably inflation and stuff. Uh, blockade efficiency, 10%. Whatever. These are kind of fillers. I was just trying to get some territory toward the end. And at the very end, we'll get the, uh, the tolerance of heathens. Because we are... Um, yeah, look at that. The culture is Dutch. It's wrong. Interesting. I thought that the I thought it was going to change the culture for everything, but uh, this is an accepted culture in Trading McTrade, but it only changed the culture of our capital. It changed the religion, but not the other stuff. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. We're not a Christian nation, so we cannot add provinces to the Holy Roman Empire. Kind of funny that we are a, uh, a religion Norse. And, uh... I wonder what that does to, like, the Emperor. The Emperor, eh, only minus 10, not that bad. Not that unhappy with us. So, we need to pick a deity. So, that's one of the advantages. We get Naval Force Limit modifier plus 10%, Land Force Limit modifier plus 10. We're pretty tolerant. Not as tolerant as the Christians are of their own religion. But, uh, it's fine. We'll select a deity. We have, looks like, six to choose from. We can take Odin, get some core creation cost. We can take Freya. National tax modifier, plus 10, and 10% 10 more national manpower. Land leader shock, plus 1, and fort defense, that's always cool. National unrest and discipline, that's pretty cool. National trade income modifier, and goods produced nationally, or build and tech costs go down. So I love the, the, the diversity of the Norse religion. You can, like, depending on what you need, like, sometimes you may want to go on a conquest, take Odin for a while, and then maybe switch over to um, build costs and tech cost for a while, get, get caught up on technology. For now, I think early game, what we might need is probably going to be the discipline, maybe? Like, first off, we, we don't have any unrest, do we? We have a tiny bit of autonomy, not much. We have nine, negative nine unrest. Um, why does it look like there's an extra button there? Kind of strange. That could be because of the mod, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. It's still pretty functional. I'm happy with it. I like how much easier it is to see everything. When the autonomy of a province is below 10, it is no longer possible to decrease it manually. Anyway, uh, so for the deity, why don't we go with the... I think it's pretty safe to assume the majority of our income is going to come from trade, right? 
go with National Trade Income Modifier. See if we can take off early on. 10% more trade income will make a big difference, I think. Okay. Alright. And uh, who wants to be our friend? <laughs> Let's see. Utrecht has, has rivaled us already. Why don't we go ahead and counter-rival them? They're the only one that's available, actually. Hopefully that'll give us a mission to... Yeah, insult them. Sweet. Hey, Utrecht. Your mama's so fat. Did I do it? I did it. <laughs> we yeah, that's right. Gotcha. Claim our rival's province for another 25 military power. Pretty sweet. So our ruler's pretty garbage, right? He starts off with 000, zero, zero but um, we should... Hey, we even get Imperial Integrity. Nice. We should be able to either kill him by making him into a ruler, a uh, leader, which we will, or um, we'll just vote him. Oh, he actually came out 3-2. That's pretty good. Um, we're totally going to fabricate a claim on you, Utrecht. Just so you know. And we're going to need to get an ally. Hey, look at that. Burgundy's actually not hostile. What do you think the chances are we could actually make friends with them? Now, they did do like the historical type start. So the, uh, of course, the Hundred Years' War is still going on and all that. Also, we are a merchant republic, so we got to look at this as well. The aristocrats. Representing the aristocratic patrician families that dominate the political life in their capital, their main concern is ensuring that the republic is victorious in war and ensures the glory that they view as their own. Or sorry, achieves. Representing the merchants and ship captains that are the lifeblood of the Republic's trade, their main concern is the control of lucrative maritime trade routes, the traders. So we'd get less taxes, more global trade power, and cheaper ships. This one gives us less trade power outside of our capital node, more morale of armies, lower man land maintenance modifier. And then the guilds, guild cost minus 10. Less manpower and more goods produced. Representing the artisans and master craftsmen inhabiting our cities that have banded together in guilds for mutual economic gain and assistance. Their main concern is the economic well-being of the cities. So, global trade power would probably be our best, our best bet right now. We're only making two ducats a month off of taxation. So, losing, you know, a tiny, tiny bit. And gaining more trade power, I think, would be good. Army tradition. So, it looks like influence changed by plus zero. So, the more the higher your army tradition is, the more likely the aristocrats are to be in control. The higher your navy tradition, the traders. And this one is going down for some reason. Probably because these other ones are going up. Because we have a tiny bit of tradition. So, I think we'll just manually bump up this one for 10 Diplo. And that should put the, the the traders in power. And we'll actually see what we end up with as far as income goes next month. But um, for now, we will wait until December 12th. If we can start fabricating claims. I, I'm a little bit nervous now. I thought that the Trade and Make Trade was going to be an easy campaign, but uh, it got patched so quick. That, uh, yeah, Friesland, I think we have to rival you as well. I mean, obviously, right? Your enemies with Gallery, Utrecht, and Trade and Make Trade. Your current rivals. East Frisia, Gallery. East Frisia. So that would make us enemy of enemy. Can we become a friend? I'd much rather just secure an alliance with, like, France. <laughs> oh, great. England's hostile. That's good. Uh, we'll improve relations with France for just a tick or so. Tick or so while we wait for our guy to get back. And we'll start claiming, fabricating on Utrecht. It's going to be nice playing on not Iron Man mode for a while, so that I can actually, you know, not have lag and stuff. So a big change in this patch is that we can now force March at level 9 um, administrative tech. You don't have to take the uh, military idea group to get it, so it's automatic. We have long-time rivals. Should we choose a third? Shall we actually rival the Hansa? They do have three very valuable coastal provinces. Let's just do it. You're my enemy, bro. Coming for you. Come on, Burgundy. Work with me here. Negative 58 reasons. Not the same religious group. Neutral attitude. Profitable army strength. <laughs> That's not exactly what I expected the uh, the adjective would do. They probably want you to use like a country adjective, like uh, the McTradian. Yeah, that would probably have been better. The McTradian army strength. The, the profitable army strength works too. This is not bad. We'll take it. So, we'll keep working on Burgundy. 
And you know what? Um, we need to find somebody who is, like, friendly to us that we can sell stuff to. So let's go with uh, this thing. We'll go with um, all countries, sort by opinion. Every everyone hates us. There's no one that doesn't, that likes us at all. But, like, France is kind of neutral. Here, I need this diplomat. I want to see if France is willing to buy my heavies. Sell ships. We have no fleet in French supply range. I think mothballed fleets don't count. Really? France? Do you really not have that much supply? Alright, let's bring these guys out. Let's go. What about now? Okay, now they're within range. First fleet. Alright, a little bit of clipping there. That's alright. So, for instance... Your reasons for it are you have no use for big ships. Oh, really? I see. Hey, England. You want to buy my ships? Buying the fleet would exceed your force limit, and you are hostile toward me. Hey, Brittany. You want ships, right? Buying the fleet would exceed force limit. They want five fewer transports. Wants one fewer big ships. Okay, are you saying, like, that's, that looks different. I don't remember seeing that before. It's so, like, if I got rid of... Let's try this. If I just offered you a cog, and then at the same time, we looked at, like, a, a one carrick. Just, let's just see. What are, you, what, are you willing to, what are you willing to do? Work with me here. I'll sell you one heavy. And you would totally buy it for the price of 40 ducats. Sweet. That is a good sale. And also, before I forget, I gotta check our force limit and stuff. We have 37 available force limit, we have 10 available land force limit. I think we do need to train up some more infantry. But we also need to train up a few more barks, because they are the most important thing ever. We also need to consider, um, hey, 10.26 ducats a month, that's pretty good. We will take the, uh, the production efficiency guy to start, because uh, I hear he protects you from, like, bad stuff. Oh, this guy's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And a disciplined guy to boot. Holy crap. This is awesome. All level one. I love it. Let's do it. So we'll just keep this fleet out here and we'll sell these, these heavies one by one until he's not willing to buy them anymore. Right now we're paying full maintenance for them, which is quite a bit. It'd be nice if there's a some like a breakdown. Like navies 3.68, and then it showed like um, heavies, lights, transports, galleys. Just showed them. A little, little breakdown cost of the fleets. Or even even better, maybe, would be if it showed, like, the uh, cost of each individual fleet. Like, navies 3.68, and then it'd show, like, first fleet this much, second fleet this much. I mean, you can you can find it by, like, going here, and then you can add it all up manually. You go right here, you can see 0.43, and then there's six of them. So the, the information's there. It's available. Hey, Brittany, I want to sell you another ship. One, ah, shoot. You want to buy another heavy? I know you do. Exceed your treasury. Yeah. Alright, we gotta check the ledger, see who has any money. Who's got money? Mm, hey, France. Maybe France would be willing to buy if it's just one. They just still have no use for big ships. Alright. Sweden? Hey, Sweden. Castile. Steel's neutral. Hey, you want a ship? They would totally be willing to buy for 20 whole ducats. That's not very good. Alright, what if I tried to do... Two heavies. Maybe we can get a better... No, I don't want to say a province, that's crazy. Two heavies. You wouldn't, you would only give me 20 ducats for two heavies? That's pretty crap, man. Portugal? There we go. Another sale. Would you buy two? Two for 80? Oh, sweet. Would you buy three? For 120? Seize your treasury. Alright, buy the two. I feel like I'm, a, I'm like a, I'm a heavy ship drug dealer. <laughs> like, uh, this is costing us inflation, but you know, 80 ducats. Man, that's a lot, early game. We sold our worthless ships for the, the sum of 80 ducats. 
Alright, so we're working on our claim. It's, it's coming along. Right? It's going to take a little while. This is going to be a little bit of a... It's going to be challenging. It's not going to be as easy as I, th as I thought. Not, not at all. Next election is in November of 1448. It's going to be a little while. Uh, we'll go ahead and put our guy in charge. Did we already? Yeah, put him in charge just so he might die. And uh, I like our flag. It's kind of cool. England is embargoing us. What a, what a jerk face. Still, we have 57% control. Not bad for 200 points. Trading McTrade. We've got 160 trade power. Oh, you know what I didn't do is uh, merchants. My merchants are automatically appointed, but they're, they, we need to move them to other places. So what's our total base tax? Our total base tax right now is uh, it's just 27. So we'll get 27 inland. I wonder if maybe we can make more money. We don't want to collect from trade here, I think. So part of the reason why we have so much trade power is we're getting a 40% hidden modifier to this trade power. Like, if I just switch this guy from transfer to collect, watch this, 160, collect. This should update tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow, but at the end of the month. If we have one guy collecting, any merchants collecting at all, you lose the bonus from all your merchants. So this will change. See how it went down to 114 now? The reason for that is it was taking 114 and then modified by, let me just check, I think it's 114 times 1 1.4 takes it to 160. Yep. So that's the issue is because we have four merchants, we can get a 40% bonus to our trade power here, which gives us a much larger share and we should not collect from trade anywhere. So we, un we undo that, but also we don't really get a bonus. We get a 24 inland bonus. We're Merchant Republic, so we get... Um, what is it? 16, 17, what, what is it? I already forgot. 27. That's kind of strange. Inland caravans provide a total of 32. Due to base tax of 24. We don't have a base tax of 24. Crazy bastard. Um, maybe we do, actually. Yeah, we do. We have, we have 24. It's showing here as 27. That's probably because of what? We're getting two from our capital. And then do we have, like, one structure that has a temple? We do. Interesting, so the temples don't count towards the inland trend, uh, transfer trade power. Whatever, okay, so, 24 plus 33% equals 32 trade power. Alright, 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 alright. Hey, if you didn't expect me to talk about trade in this, then you're crazy. Alright, I think we want to steer here. We'll take the guy who's in the North Sea. And then I do think we want to steer from whichever other node has, like, the most trade power in it. Trade nodes. Total value. We want to have a merchant in the Champagne node. We already do. Rhineland. The Rhineland node. Is this one. Didn't I just send somebody there? Yes. Okay. Genoa, we don't need to worry about. Champagne, we're already in. I don't think we want to do anything with Lubick yet. Maybe we just steer away from Lubick. Rhineland, Venice. So it's probably going to be to be Vienna. Or Wien. We'll take you from Genoa. Let's just wait. I'm taking my time compared to the Trading McTrade setup, you know? The first time. Let's wait till they're in place. They already are. Okay, so we've got you steering towards there. That's good. You should probably be moved. We've got you steering towards there. You've got you steering towards there. Okay, you steering in... That is the wrong direction. Why Why would you do that, game? No. Um, Saxony node. Saxony's got a tiny bit. Probably a better choice than Lubick. I mean, we're still going to have, like, basically the exact same amount of trade power in that node, and it's automatically, it can only steer in one direction anyway. So the same amount's going to come out. Steering is mostly about directing it. Which way do you want it to go? Like, we don't necessarily want it to go to Lubick. We want it to go toward the ones where we have more trade power. Right? Like... Interesting. So like in Rhineland, 
Freedom of Trade. That's not updated. We need to wait till the end of the month. That's why. I think it's better. I think it's better to go along this way. 33.9, and then uh, we're getting our trade power modifiers. We're ending up with 42. It's pretty good. I think it's more significant than doing uh, doing it in another way. It'd be cool if we could get missions that increased our provincial trade power as well. I like our color, by the way. It's cool. All right, cool. Well, I know there's a lot of trading type stuff, but hey, it's trading McTrade. You got to expect it, right? So I'm going to take a break here. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, it's the first video in a new series, and it's a new patch. So if you want to help me out, go ahead and click the like button, talk about it, make a comment, share it with your friends and family and your brother and your sister and your dog and your puppy and, and, and all those things. Or don't do any of that. It's fine. I'll survive either way, but you could help me out if you wanted to. So, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again in the next video. See you soon.